Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 14 of the Born With Curry Mode series. In today's episode, you guys will find out whether we do have a chance of winning the Premier League or not. If you guys are enjoying this series, go ahead and drop a like on this video. If you guys could smash out 50 likes, that would be awesome. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. Now guys, let's get into today's episode. As you can see, we're just a point behind Arsenal in the league, which is so close. I mean, we do have a shot at winning the Premier League if we do win it. It would be absolutely ridiculous, but before that guys, I'm changing Will Hughes' kit number to 19 because there was a comment in the last episode that told me to do so, so I'm doing it. I think his number at Derby County was 19, so I think it makes sense. Let me know what kit number should I give these other players like Ryan Gold, maybe Liam Moore. I mean, Liam Moore is wearing 26 right now, which doesn't suit him. So just let me know what kit number should I be giving all my players in the comment section below. Also guys, these are the teams we will be facing in today's episode. It's going to be a difficult one because we have Everton... We have West Brom and Chelsea. Both Chelsea and West Brom are doing really well in the league. Everton aren't doing that bad as well, so it's going to be very difficult to get results. In the last episode of this series, we'll be facing Manchester United. That's going to be one hell of a game against them. Obviously, guys, we're going to be doing a press conference. So the first question today is, what do you think on Everton's players like Delafell, Romelu Lukaku, Barkley and Stones? All of them are quality players, guys, and if they do play against us, we're going to find it really difficult against Everton. Barkley has scored seven goals this season in the Premier League. That means it's going to be very difficult to play against him. We all know he's a quality player. It's going to be a good game against Everton. Hopefully, we'll be able to come away with all three points. Now, guys, let's move on to the next question. How many points do you think are you going to get out of these games? I think, realistically, we should get around seven points. But to be honest, we need nine points if we really want to fight for that Premier League title. Because I really think if we drop a single point in today's episode, we won't win the Premier League title. Arsenal will win it then. Also guys, the season finale will be out later tonight. So we will be ending season one today itself. Hope you guys are excited for it. And obviously, if you guys could smash out 50 likes, as I said, it would be just insane. Also guys, now it's time to face Everton here away from home. As I said, this is going to be a tough game against them. But hopefully, we will be able to come away with three points. I've gone in with a very strong team here. But we don't have Gretel as he was suspended. So that might cost us here. We do have the first chance of this game. And it's a free kick. And what else would you expect from Juan Manuel Itobe? He slots at home. Four minutes gone. It is now 1-0. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section below who's your favorite free kick taker on FIFA. For me, it's now Itobe. He scored some ridiculous free kicks for me. I mean, his free kick stats aren't that high. But he's been insane. And as you can see, guys, another chance here for us. It's still Itobe here. He just goes past their defense so easily earned himself a penalty he's gonna take it the last time he took a penalty he did miss hopefully he won't miss it this time Ituba takes the penalty this time he slots it home 22 minutes gone it is 2-0 to Bournemouth you might be wondering how are we finding this game so easy I don't think Everton have played any of their big plays they've rested Stones, Gerard Delafoe, Lukaku I mean it's a very weak lineup they've put forward but they still had a great chance at the score as I think McElhenney or whatever the hell his name is he had a great chance to score now this McElhenney guy has another chance here to score but Dragowski makes the save Everton are really linking up well in this game that could cause us some trouble another chance here for Everton the ball is put inside the box it's Funes Mori now who heads it into Jagielka who goes for the audacious bicycle kick but Dragowski is there to make the save 2-0 now to Bournemouth now a chance here for Everton they're really attacking now in this game it's cleverly here into Osman into Lenin and Lenin slots it home so 75 minutes gone it is now 2-1 I mean, we are going to find this game difficult towards the end of it because Everton are really attacking in this game. Another chance here for Everton. It's Mohamed Besic with the ball. If we do concede now, I think it's over for us. We won't be able to win the Premier League title. But what a save from Dragoski. It really can't get any better. Probably the best save he's made on this series. Absolutely ridiculous stuff from him. And we have beaten Everton, guys. Two goals to one. An insane result against them. It really can't get any better. And we're still alive in the Premier League. As you can see, guys, I'm going to be transferring Mark Pugh next season because he's not getting too much game time he wants to leave another thing guys Stan Gosling he's not happy with his game time as well we'll give him a few matches again I guess I'll play him against West Brom as well also guys James Hoskins looks like a really good player 82 to 90 for potential he could be really awesome for us in the future also guys now let's have a look at the league table and as you can see guys Arsenal are now four points ahead of us but they have played a game more than us so we do have a game in hand and that game is against West Brom it's going to be a tricky game they are in eighth position and it's going to be a tough one but we got to get all three points if we really want to challenge Arsenal for the Premier League title. Arsenal look to be favourites right now, but if we do win this game, we will be just a point behind them. This is the team I'm going with. I have made quite a lot of changes, brought in a few second team plays so that I keep them fit for that Chelsea game. We do have a great chance to score as Mings plays the ball forward to Juan Manuel Itobe. Look at him go. Look at that pace. I mean, Itobe 
is unstoppable in this game and that's a cracking finish from Juan Manuel Turbe. He hadn't scored for quite a long time but he scored in the last episode and he's now scored again. This guy is on fire. I mean that's his 15th or 16th league goal. I'm not sure but he's been on fire. And as you can see guys Harry Arta puts the ball into Jakob who has a great chance to score in the 41st minute of this game but he does miss his keeping the score 1-0 to Bournemouth here. In this game really best from playing well but we were much better than them. We had a great chance here to score on the rebound as Andreas Pereira you know the player we signed from Man United who hasn't got that much game time because of gold. He took a shot there but it went just wide but that again a great chance there from him. Better he know he had a great chance to score as well but his shot went wide and our keeper didn't have to make the save as well. Better he know here again he's been definitely the best West Brom player in this game. A chance here for West Brom again Morrison who takes the shot but Dragoski makes the save after 64 minutes keeping it 1-0 to Bournemouth. Now a chance here for us to seal this game. Wilson plays it into Andres Pereira. Can he score guys? Can the former Manchester United man give us the lead? No, he can't. He misses. That was such a good chance for him to score. But he should have probably scored, but he didn't. Now a chance here for West Brom late on in this game. If they do score, it's all over for us. But thank goodness Gardner missed. We managed to hold on to this result. What a result it is. 1-0 against West Brom. And we keep our title hopes alive. I mean, we're just in the title race by just a point right now. So it's so close. Also, guys, another player who's cribbing because of his game time. It's Daniels here. Yeah, I haven't really played him because Minx has been so good. I'll give him some game time maybe next season. But for now, I don't think I'll be playing him. Because our next game is against Chelsea. And then we face Manchester United. We have some massive games coming up. But as you can see, the Premier League table, guys... Arsenal have played their game again and they are 81, they have 81 points, we are in 2nd place with 77, if we want to win the Premier League guys we gotta win this game as well as our next one, we can start off well by winning this game against Chelsea, it's gonna be difficult cause look at my team guys, none of my first team players as such are playing this one apart from Gold and Dele Alli, so this is gonna be a difficult game, we do have the first chance in this game as Dele Alli plays the ball into Gold, Gold cuts inside and takes the shot with his right foot but Courtois is there to make the save. Now another chance here for a sermon plays the ball into Dele Alli here. It's still Dele Alli. Dele Alli has the ball, tries to cut inside here. It's still Alli who takes the shot. Courtois again makes a very good save. 28 minutes gone. The score is still nil nil. Now a chance here for Chelsea. The ball is with Falcao now. Falcao takes the shot. Boruch makes the save. It falls to I think Fabregas or Eden Hazard. I'm not sure who takes the shot. But then our keeper makes a very good save. He has Eden Hazard here. It's still Hazard. He's a dangerous player to play against. It's still Hazard here. Look at the dribbling. Plays it into Fabregas. But it goes wide. That was one hell of an attempt from Chelsea. They probably should have scored that. But they didn't. Luckily for us. A chance here for us guys. Can we win this game here? 53 minutes gone. It's a Fobe here. Goes away from his marker. Takes the shot. But that wasn't a good attempt. Still he forced Courtois to make a dive and make a good save. 55 minutes gone guys. Can we now finally get the winner? It's Dele Alli with the ball. 73 minutes gone. Sermon now into a Fobe. A Fobe back to Dele Alli. That's beautiful football. And Dele Alli scores for us in the 75th minute of this game. What a finish from Dele Alli. The link up play between him and a Fobe was just perfect. And we are winning this game one goal to nil can we hold on to this result guys look at that for a pass there from Benik Afobe that was just perfect from him we were very lucky in this game to actually get a goal because we didn't perform that well but ultimately I think we deserved the win and there you go we have beaten Chelsea a very decent result against them and that means we are still alive in the Premier League race and I think we can do it guys but we have to hope that Arsenal drops points but the thing is they face Aston Villa so now I'm thinking that's going to be very difficult and we have secured ourselves second position which is pretty awesome and hopefully we will be able to win the Premier League but that's going to be very difficult. You guys will find that out later tonight. Also guys as you can see Itube still has a chance here to finish as top scorer and he's just two goals behind Welbeck. Rooney has 15 goals as well so if Itube does score a hat-trick against Manchester United he will be the top scorer although that's highly unlikely but the kind of form Itube has been in lately I don't you know I don't want to bet against him so the next episode we face United hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode if you guys have don't forget to drop a like on this video also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel and I will see you guys soon for the next episode of this series